my lovelies, welcome back. Today's video is a haul video and it's a drugstore haul from Superdrug here in the UK. I also have a few products from Bomb Cosmetics to show you. If you've never heard of Bomb Cosmetics, they basically do a lot of bath bombs and products like that, very similar to Lush products. So I'll show you those soon. So let's start with Superdrug and I have a lot of their Superdrug own range to show you, bits and pieces. So let's start. First one, and it's a conditioner, Superdrug's Revitalising Raspberry and Macadamia Nut Conditioner for radiant looking hair. And this is specifically for coloured hair. I rarely worry about matching my shampoo and conditioner together. I just needed another one. I have a shampoo I'm currently using and I couldn't resist this. It smells like a raspberry smoothie. It is gorgeous. I will give you feedback on this, but sometimes I found the cheaper the conditioner, the better the results, to be honest. The thing I love about Superdrug is a lot of their products are definitely vegetarian and vegan friendly, but Superdrug are against animal testing as well. So if you're fanatical about that, have a look around Superdrug and all their products are labelled very clearly with their ingredients and also that they are cruelty free. So it's certainly worth a look. My next Superdrug product is a shower gel and it's the Shea Butter and Bamboo. Um, I've had a few in the range and usually I go for sort of lime zesty fragrances but this caught my eye and it smells gorgeous. It's sort of got that vanilla Shea Butter undertone which I love. I like the sort of rich warm smells as we're heading into the autumn here in the UK. Beautiful product and there's such a good price as well so I'm looking forward to using that. And this is BUAV approved as well. Two products not Superdrug's own and I couldn't resist getting them because they just made me smile and it's the Cousins Carex hand washes. However, I know hand wash isn't that exciting, but they have fun editions out. I don't know if fun edition means they're limited edition. However, one is cola bottle flavour and one is bubblegum and they really do smell like that. They're fantastic. I just got them for a giggle. It's nice to have something unusual rather than the traditional eucalyptus smelling hand washes, that kind of thing. A lot of my Morton Brown hand washes have run out now and I didn't really want to go down that route of spending that kind of money, but these, yeah, couldn't resist. My next product that Superdrug's own and it's the nail polish remover. This is actually an acetone free formula. Um, I generally like to use the Carex um, nail polish remover, but my local Superdrug only seems to stock the small bottles and I like a big bottle of nail polish remover, so I thought I'll give this a whirl, see how it goes. I do tend to find with lower priced removers that they sometimes smear the varnish rather than actually pulling it off the nail and it smears onto your skin. I haven't tried one of these, so I will let you know how I get on with it, but hopefully it'll work really well. And then instead of going to Bourgeois and buying their pot of nail varnish remover, I got the Superdrug's own. This is an acetone product, um, but yeah, I was keen to give it a go. It works the same way as the Bourgeois, but I'll give you some feedback on these when I've used them for a while. Next, um, I've heard various bits and pieces about this foundation. It's Rimmel's Lasting Finish 25 Hour, and they have two in the range. They have one that's sort of light to medium coverage, and then they have this, which is the full coverage. I've gone for shade 200, which is soft beige. Um, it felt very nice. I did try the consistency on the back of my hand. I didn't colour match on the back of my hand before anybody thinks I did, but I've heard a lot about it. It is on offer. If you bought one Rimmel product, you get another half price. And I did need something else, which I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this a whirl. And of course, I'll give you some feedback when I've used it. I've never really been a fan of Rimmel foundations. They've just never quite worked for me. But the formulation of this felt very nice. And it's also got comfort serum, apparently, and an SPF of 20. So full coverage foundation enriched with a comfort serum, instant perfect coverage that feels extra comfortable and lasts all day. Sweat, heat, humidity and transfer proof for up to 25 hours. There you go. I don't know who wears foundation for 25 hours, but we'll see. 
So my next product, I decided to try the Rimmel Black Eyeliner, the gel eyeliner. It does come with a brush, which I probably won't use, but my Clinique is running very, very low, and I just thought it was an ideal opportunity to give this a whirl. I can't remember if I've tried this one. Is this the one that I thought they'd stop doing and they repackaged, or was it Maybelline? I get the two confused a lot. But yeah, I grabbed one of those, and that was half price. My next was a product from Revlon, and I'm a massive fanatic of Sage Vitae, which is the quick drying top coat, and I buy it all the time. And I've really got into the Revlon base coat, and I saw they have a quick dry top coat now, which apparently it lasts, it's 30 seconds to dry. I'm going to give it a whirl. It was a good price. I think it was about £4.59. Don't quote me on that. But certainly cheaper than Sage Feet and yeah, again, you'll get feedback. Another Rimmel product and I've been raving about this and because they had the colour in, I've got a top up. I don't need it yet, but it's the Dark Brown Brow This Way Gel from Rimmel. I love it. I know the brush is quite large, but it suits me and my brows. But the colour sells out so quickly that as soon as I saw there was about two left, as soon as I saw this, I thought, grab it. Yeah, this seems to be one of the most popular colours in the range, but I, I love this. And for me, it's replaced my Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, this was actually on sale, it was in the sales stand and I already have a Barry M palette. I didn't buy this originally because I liked the other one but I looked at this and I think it was £2.25 in the sale. Couldn't resist and it hadn't been touched which is always great because usually when people have been all over them you don't want them. But yeah, I love that. I love sort of greys. There's a lovely smoky eye and the blusher reminds me very much of Sleek's rose gold blush. But I just thought what a beautiful, beautiful palette and at such a great price as well. And you know me, I cannot resist eye palettes. So I got that. And then I got the MUA Hall of Fame and this is the palette that contains their 12 most popular colours from all the palettes that they produce. All the sort of colours that I like and they've just started really stocking up the MUA stand in my local Superdrug. So I'm, I'm really thrilled about that because I like their products and that's the Hall of Fame palette. My last two products from Superdrug are Diddy Bottles from L'Oreal and one is Top Coat Confetti. Um, which I just thought was so pretty and I think that'll probably come in at Christmas it's just gorgeous and then I had this as well which is sequin explosion and I loved that just pretty pretty colors beautiful so I got a couple of those and again it was buy one get one free so you can't not can you no okay I do so wish that I could let you smell what I'm smelling here these are the bath bomb, bath fizzers, bath explosion things, whatever you want to call them. And I went into my local store and it's a wonderful store and a lovely lady called Sam runs it and she just stocks all the bath stuff from Bomb Cosmetics and I'm always in there. I'm just addicted to having baths now. I'm literally every other evening I'm running a bath just for an excuse to use these. And she's actually got her Christmas stock in, unbelievably. When you're in retail, it's got to happen. And we were going through them and she was recommending different ones. And I have to say, this is the first anything Christmassy I've bought. I could not resist. So we'll do Christmas first because I feel so guilty that I bought it. And this is a huge bath bomb and it's called Rockin' Robin. And it's there and it's got the robin in the top and it smells of cocoa and chocolate and oh it is just if you love you know I love vanilla and chocolatey things it is just like you could bite into it and you could expect chocolate to ooze out it's just beautiful absolutely love it and that's Rockin' Robin from Bond Cosmetics but it's gorgeous and I cannot believe I've bought a Christmas bath bomb but I have um, another Christmas one, and unfortunately I don't have the name, but I think it was Holly something, hence the holly. But this one has almost like, um, it's got a warm chocolatey smell through it, a vanilla base, but then there's sort of a hint of like eucalyptus mint through it, just a bit of zing through there. Just beautiful. And these are so creamy and rich in the bath, and I can honestly say my bathroom smells divine. It really, really does love it. 
The last Christmas one, oh, sorry about that, something just crashed on the floor. The last one, again, has a lovely robin on the top. This one is a fruitier smelling product. Again, there's the vanilla base, a chocolatey base, but definitely a sort of fruity raspberry run through this. Absolutely gorgeous smelling, love that one. And then two that I really do like. One is called Button Moon, which again has that vanilla, oh, it's just gorgeous, vanilla coconut smell through it. And I love coconut so much. So I love that one. And then I've had this one before, which is so cute with a little duck in the middle. This is one that smells so much better in the bath. It really lets itself down on the initial sniff. And you don't, you just get sort of a cleanness, a cotton freshness. It leaves the most gorgeous scent in the bathroom. All of these, I can honestly say, are just so creamy and lovely and lush. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you've tried any of the Bomb Cosmetics products and what you'd recommend. And any other questions about the products you've seen, do let me know. I will do a follow-up video and review some of the things I've not used before. I look forward to your comments as ever. Thank you again for your lovely supportive comments while my teeth and jaw and things have not been great. My face is still a bit puffy, can I just say. I did have a lovely message of somebody saying, oh, your face still looks a bit swollen. It is a little, but um, the good news is, hopefully it's gonna be sorted soon because I am at the dental hospital in October, which is great news. I've got quite an early appointment, so that's, that's good. So hopefully all will be well, and I won't have any more horrible incidents where yeah, it was just terrible. So thank you again for your lovely comments and your good wishes and the nice comments that you're pleased to see me back. So thank you for that because it really just cheer me up and um, it makes me feel very special. Thank you. So I'll see you soon with another video. Take care everybody and I hope you're all well. Good. Bye. <laughs>